84 sausages. Why, hello again, Sausage Factory Rolly Poly Game. I'm here to conquer you and your innards. Because that's kind of what sausages are. Intestinal wrappings. Cold storage. What? Oh no. Oh no. So that's a lot of sausages to try to roll out over one long area. Obviously, there's no end point. Uh, it's just a big grill area. So that leads to the problem where I can't just keep pushing them to make them all cook because they'll... Oh, it's even more things on top of that. Not only is it, can I not just keep pushing them to cook them all because they would burn. Uh, they're facing the opposite direction right now because they're all lengthwise. They're perpendicular to the... I guess they're, they're parallel with the grilling direction, but normally perpendicular is what makes it easy to grill them because you just roll them once. And to complicate things further... Um... We're on a second floor. Which means that whatever we're gonna do is probably gonna involve some variation... Of, uh... Yeah, I'm sure we're just gonna be... Walking along them in some way. Oh, this is gonna be complicated. This is going to be complicated. Okay. So we're gonna have to roll them around by walking on them. I have to push them along this central point and not anywhere earlier. Because if I were to push them down right here, uh, they would be over the water. And because I can't physically go down there, I can't push them off from being over the water, so they would be stuck there. There's enough room for all three of these. So I'll start with that. And then... Here's where the complication arises. So, the way that I put these on is going to be the main part of the puzzle. There's gonna be a really weird, crazy sequence that I walk on them on, of course. But there's also a puzzle be behind how I place them in the first place. And right now I don't have much to go on, so I'm just gonna go for it and see how things work out. <laughs> You're cooked. Shit. <laughs> yeah, that problem. That is gonna be tough. Okay. How do I deal with that? Immediately not- this is immediately a problem. So I can walk backwards on you. And walk both of you guys. But then that's a problem. What if I started over here though? Walked backwards on you. Walk backwards on you. Shit. We're so close. But I can't walk that way. Let's rewind. So I started by walking backwards on you, then on you, which puts me in the middle. So how would I create a solution where I can fix it from here? Is the question. We can't take the- it basically comes down to having one extra sausage that needs to move, because this works, this works, this works, but the one last one needs to be somewhere else. Or I have to change my sequence. So I can't put it above this guy, because it would fall off. I can't put it, could put it, can't put it below this guy, because I wouldn't be able to walk onto it in the first place. Um, that one already slides down, which is a problem. Huh. Hang on a second. So where I am right now, I can walk over here. So that's where I want it to be, right there. Oh, well, that shouldn't be too hard to set up. Let's get that set up. Alright, so... Everything was right so far. Except that one detail. Oops. Just sliding around. Good. Back to the basic setup. Whoops. Because I'm creating a gap between the two, I need them to not be on top of each other. But we need a spot between them. No. You were up there. There we go. We still need to push you up first. Otherwise, we have the water gap to deal with. And down. So now... And we can just walk straight across. Got it. Got it. I was on the right track. It's just a simple matter of 
seeing how many I could grill with the pattern I was already doing, and then being like, okay, where can I move the last one so that I can be reached in that pattern? And then it's solved. It's all solved. Well, that's a weird illusion. Oh, it is one continuous platform. There's a crack in the middle that made me think it was separate floors. The one thing about the low fidelity graphics here is that there's definitely moments where trying to tell the altitude of certain spots can be a little iffy. It's never a problem during the puzzles, it's mostly during the giant world exploration moments where you're like, um, is that a crack or is that a cliff? Doesn't affect the gameplay for the most part. But yeah, this is the, uh, the type of, of low fidelity graphics that a game would intentionally use if it was going to be about, uh, optical illusions, because it makes it easier to do them. Cold Horizon. Cold Horizon. All right. I'm interested. That's probably a mistake. So if we're to push you down, all I have to do is push it onto that top one and then down. Which is admittedly hard, because I'd have to somehow be walking... I would have to somehow be walking on top of something at that point, to be able to move it that way. At which point, how do I push it over there in the first place? Okay. Um... Let's get you out of the way a little bit, push you down. There we go. If it's over here, it'll be in position so that I can push it over. And I believe we're supposed to just go rolling on top of this guy. So let's just make his way over to the grill. And I'm gonna climb down the ladder to climb on top of him, basically. It'll be grilled at the beginning of the puzzle, but that shouldn't matter. Right? 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 Got it. Okay. Yep, that was... Oh. Oh. I see where the puzzle is. I see where the puzzle is indeed. What? What? I was about to say, I was about to go on a discussion about how, like, because the, the map was so complicated, it had such specific things like going on, and it was like one of those portal puzzles where the more complicated they get, the more obvious the solution sometimes gets because it's the only conceivable way to do it. That happened in Talos Principle a lot, too. But there was a twist at the end, which is that I needed to go... I, they put the, the escape up there, which means I have to go back up, which I can't. So we have to be clever here. And that's not a blind side. Uh, it's a blind side of me because I didn't look for it, but they do show you where the exit's going to be on a little plant, a little print on the ground, so I could have noticed that. But I didn't. So, the twist here is that we need to not grill it that way. So the ladder is not used for... The ladder's not how you get down, it must only be how you get up. Because that's the only way you can get up, obviously. Uh, we can't get both sausages over here, so... Uh, my ascent has to be via the ladder, because this is two floors up. But, I need to get down without the ladder. Probably means that I need to do something clever involving this thing and that thing stacked on each other. Uh, which might be a little rough. We'll see how that goes. Um, huh. Let's just start pushing them down in the default position first and see how that goes. Bad is the answer. <laughs> Very badly. Okay. So. I'm gonna test a few configurations real quick, but I probably should just actually plan out a solution instead. Hey! So this gets this where it needs to be, but doesn't get the other one where it needs to be. So the other, it probably needs to be over... It probably needs to be pushed down lengthwise. And then you need to be... Pushed in a position where... Ah... Uh, So ideally, I would take, I would hop on that la that one down there, and I'd roll this one off of it so that it pushes, falls in front of me. The problem is, how would I get, how do I myself get on it to roll it that way in the first place? So instead, oh, so instead, I think what I need to do is put this long one on the ground first. Yeah, put the long one on the ground first. The the lengthwise, one. I'll put the up and down one on top of it. Oops. And then I'll physically step on the le this one and roll it off myself. I was thinking like roll the- at first I was thinking rolling the sausage in a way that would roll the thing off of it, but it's really, you just gotta roll it off in that way. As in like, physically take it off with you. Shit. 
And we should be solved. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Just had to recover from the twist. How many cold do we have left? This is actually a really big world so far. 91. Don't know how many sausages there are in the game. Hello, giant tower. We'll save you for last, because you look dramatic. Have I done this one already? I'm not sure. I, I don't recognize this puzzle. It must be part of that giant tower. Interesting. I'm a little afraid of that one. The next world seems to be lava-oriented in some way, judging by what's down there. Are you the last one left? You might be the last one left. Let's just go ahead and do it, I guess. I don't really feel like uh, backtracking over several ladders to find out the hard way and then have to come back. So uh, let's just do this one now. Um, yeah, this is huge. I have a number of questions, really. I would, yeah, this this definitely is, is the... So I can't go up that way at all, period. Like, I can't walk that way because of how the movement works in this game. I can't turn past this post, and if I press down and go down the ladder, so I can't turn down to back, go up through it backwards. But that's not for me, unless I can use a sausage as a trick. But it's most likely... It seems like it's most likely used for me to escape instead. That's probably how I leave after I probably am on top of these guys in some capacity. Uh, there's a giant ladder. I actually can't even see where it goes. But yes, the exit's right here, so... I probably do some crazy stuff over here, and then this path down here is probably not even part of the puzzle. It's probably just used as my escape so I can come back down. A lampshade solution, to some extent. So I can climb on this ladder. Which would allow me to stand on top of something if I wanted to. But what do I do from that point on is the question. So, let's try pushing this guy. Oh, the whole tower slides. It doesn't just slide the bottom one. I wasn't entirely sure what to expect, to be honest. Alright, that guy's cooked. Probably don't want it to be cooked, though. I might have to walk on it. So, this is probably setting me up to be able to... Oh. Oh. I was about to talk about how it's probably setting me up to, ro to rotate to knock it off, but I can't rotate that way. I can rotate this way. Which seems less than effective. But I can't rotate that way because of how ladders work in this game, which is infuriating at times. Okay, so maybe I do push it. But that seems unlikely. Because then what do I do from that point on? I still can't knock them off. And uh, also, I probably have to walk on that to get across. In some way. Um... Okie dokie. Okay. <laughs> Is this part of the solution? It's so cooked. <laughs> oh no. Come with me, Sausage Tower. You are mine. Now, if we do, if we are hooking, it's probably going to be in this position. But I can't get it off from here. The possibilities are endless. Oh, what if I do have to hook it from there? If I were to hook this from the bottom and take it down... Oh, never mind. I was going to say I could... I could, I could uh, Hook it off on that to leave it there, but I can't get behind it in the first place. Alright. Step one of this is hard already. I'm missing something. So what if I just walk directly into it? Maybe walk. Is that good? Is that good enough for me? Huh? Maybe? Good? Oh, I don't know if that's good. Maybe push... Okay, there's a, there's a spot to push it there. Um, I guess at this point I'd walk up this giant ladder and get on top of it. What could go wrong? How far does this ladder go? Oh, all the way down. That's actually a little surprising. How in the world is this part going to work? So can I just walk off it? Whoa. Whoa. You took my fork. I don't have a fork. That's kind of a... That could be a big deal. <laughs> I can't... I don't have a slidey thing to move things around. I didn't know it could come off. Well, now what do I do? Look at this little guy. He's like a little Cartman little dude. <laughs> so I can't walk this way. Can't really go anywhere at this point. It seems like a failure state. 
And on top of everything else, I believe at the bottom of it's uncooked. Maybe I went back. Maybe I want to push it. Wow, I've frolicked around for a while, didn't I? Sorry, everyone. <laughs> there we go. Maybe I want to go the other way. Oh, <laughs> there's a specific message for losing the fork. <laughs> Tragedy ensues. Okay. Well, I don't think I can do anything, so maybe I don't want to lose the fork in the first place. Oh, that is... Hey! You can climb on forward in that position. How do I get fork back? Oh no, I'm standing on top of fork. What will I do? Wait, I can't climb down this ladder. Why can't I climb down the ladder? Oh, you have to, you have to face backwards to climb down a ladder. That's very specific. Well, now the fork's on the ground over there. What a strange puzzle. Okay, but now I can't get over, right? That's a new problem. I like, that's, an, that's a cute detail that you have to specifically face away from a ladder to climb down it with no fork. Because that's how you fit, that's how you would use a ladder in real life. So the fork's on the ground now, but that doesn't seem to be actually helpful. It seems like I mostly got myself in trouble there too. Because it drops the fork, and it's just sitting over there. But I've got no way to get over there because it's a grill and a cliff. So I have to be on that other side in order to do much of anything, really. So much B button! Huh. And there's no way to knock this off without losing the fork. So you gotta wonder if there's anything I'd want to do that doesn't involve that at all. Like, for some reason, would I want to go push it back? I don't see why. It just means I can't go back, but I also can't reach the, the uh, sausages anymore. So that seems ineffective also. I can't bring them towards me. Huh. What if I tried to use this one to push them all off? Push them along the grill, right? Nothing's burned yet. It's off. That's a good start. I think everything that I've left behind so far is currently cooked, so it shouldn't need any more attention. And now... Victory? Probably not. That's probably bad. <laughs> Realization midway through that I probably made a mistake there. Let's see. Probably need to cut these ones off. But then there's the question of how do I knock them down. Because now that one's down. How do I get the other one down too? Oh, the questions we have. So maybe if I put them in pairs... Oh! Guess who didn't notice there was a gap? For that one to slide down. That one caught me by surprise! If I push you up... Then we're doomed! <laughs> There's nothing I can do with this! But hey! Surprise! I'm probably close to something. Okay, um... What if I push one of them off in advance? I can't, though. They don't come with those kinds of configurations. But... Maybe this will come in handy? No. If only I could put... If only there was a way to put them into three and one. It has to be two and two as far as I can tell, though. I don't see how I would split them otherwise. Aha! Oh, that's all, that was it. That's all I had to do. Aha! Overthinking things again. I just... I, once, I, once the new information of, oh yeah, there's a gap under there, arose, I didn't think about how it recontextualizes my, my, my original problem to not exist. <laughs> So is that it? Oh. We seem to have finished our third world. That, that music's adorable. It reminds me of the, uh... What is it? Uh... Jurassic Park theme being played on a recorder? <laughs> or really just anything where it's like a game... A um, uh, movie has this crazy orchestra music. And then somebody takes... 
It just plays really shitty music instead. So I can't turn around in any of this area because of the pillars. Which means I'd want to approach like this, probably, to get through. There we go. And our goal to get across is a bridge somewhere. Right here. Right here. There's, the, there's my ladder. I just gotta stick it in this little slot. In, this is innuendo of the game at this point. And, uh, I'm gonna have to accept that. So really, I don't want to push it that way, I want to push it the other way. Because then I can approach from above. Even though the roof is long gone, the pillars still seem to retain purpose. Up we go. Yeah, I can go through here just fine. And then we're in the clear. How many sausages? 98 sausages obtained. And next comes the... Freaky Lava World. We'll see how big this place turns out to be. See you guys next time.